All right. So you know what? So if I had to give my honest opinion about these draft grades, sorry I wasn't able to do the reactions of these last two picks, but I'm going to give you my honest opinion about the team in general overall. So the Drake Jackson pick, I give it at least a solid solid A because he was easily a late first round talent. Had He has upside potential. If the coaching staff can coach up to his potential, this guy can be a steal in the draft. I think he definitely could be a starter down the road. So he's going to be a nice player to have on the rotation. Long-term answer, he's definitely going to be the guy that fits our defense. He's got he's got a lot room to improve. He's, he's younger. He's just turned 21 years old. There's a lot of upside to look forward to. Having that depth and that, that rotation piece is, is huge for this Niners defense. So I like the pick. That's a good pick in my opinion. So let's go on to the next pick, the third round pick, the 93rd pick. We select running back um, Ty Davis Price from LSU. I don't know too much about him. I just thought this pick was a reach. There was other running backs you could have picked, but maybe there's something in the front office that they like about this kid. He seems like he's got some, some raw talent. I just thought he was a reach. Maybe we could have got running back later, but who who do I know? Maybe the front office wants to be able to utilize more of the running game and make this offense more consistency. But as far as that overall grade, I give it more of a C minus. Like C minus to me is just average. Like you could have got him later, but who who do I know? The guy seems like a bow cow type of back, you know? He's about six foot, two hundred eleven pounds. He seems like he's got some upside. I just wasn't sure about this pick. I'm not like the kind of guy that didn't like the pick. I'm like, who the heck is this guy? You know, I don't know much about this kid from LSU. Ty Davis Price. Never heard of him. But realistically, maybe he can be one of the best backs in the draft. Who knows? But let's go to the last pick of the third round. 105, we picked the receiver from SMU, Danny Gray. What's my thoughts of it? We definitely needed to get a dynamic wide receiver with speed. He's a he's a guy that can definitely fit this offense. But honestly, I give it a B minus because he could have been in the fourth round. But you can get this guy. Why wait for him if you can get him at this point? That's a good value. I think he definitely could be a dynamic playmaker that we've been lacking for a while since Emmanuel Sanders left. We need somebody like him. Maybe with this offense, we can throw in some deep passes. A guy like Danny Gray runs good routes. He's got good hands. He's a he's solid, you know. I like the pick so far. The more I start watching this film, the more I start to admire this guy. So giving it a B- minus is me being nice about it. So overall grade, so the Drake Jackson to me was an A. The pick for the running back was a C-. minus. Like It just wasn't that much impressive to me, but I got to look more to the film. And then last but not least, Danny Gray, I give it a B minus. So overall grade, that's just my opinion. Let me know what y'all think. If you guys think I'm crazy, if you guys agree with me, if you got different perspective of the grade, then let me know in the comments. And I'll catch y'all later. As always, CG Ruthless Sports is out. And you already know. Go night.